Gabriel Landeskog will be on Zoom after Logan. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Logan O'Connor, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Logan, I guess what what did you see kind of go wrong for you guys early in the in the third and then how do you how do you rebound from a pretty emotional loss like this one? Yeah, I think just a couple bad plays. I mean, that's all it really takes against a good team like Vegas. Um, we felt like we carried the play for the most part and had a couple slip ups that obviously led to their goals. And uh, we just got to turn the page at this point. I mean, good teams find a way, and we got to go into a hostile environment there and just worry about the first one. Um, we can't think about getting two right now. We just got to go in there, worry about the first period, and uh, you know, try and get one back in their, their barn. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, OST, you had three shots. It seemed like you played really well, physical, fast. Uh, were you surprised how well you played based on the fact that you haven't played in a couple months? I think I could like draw on the uh, experience last year, um, jumping into the bubble in game three against Dallas. I think using that and you know the things I learned in that experience helped. Um, I mean, been working hard off the ice to try and keep my conditioning in good shape to uh, give myself a chance at success out there. And you know, but uh, obviously unfortunate outcome tonight. So it's hard to look at the uh, personal accolades tonight and uh, you know focus more on the team loss. Ryan Bolding, Mile High Sports. Hey, Logan, can you just comment on what you guys did well in terms of, you know, kind of taking the play to Vegas and controlling the pace for most of the game? I think a big thing is we sort of smothered them like they had been doing to us the last two games, eight periods type thing. Um, we were using our speed, attacking the puck, forechecking hard, um, using tight support all over the ice. D were jumping up in the play. I think we got to continue to do that. We don't need to, um, you know, change much going into next game, obviously sharpen up a couple things and I think we'll have some success, but we definitely need to bring our A game and have everyone play into uh, their identities in order to have success. Last one here for Logan, Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Logan, you just said it there, what you guys did good to take control of the game. Is, is home ice advantage when you're going into another team's building kind of overstated? Is it hard to play that kind of game in a hostile environment in Vegas? It's definitely more difficult, I'd say, but there's no reason why we can't do it. Um, good teams find a way. You know, they came into our barn and, you know, weathered the storm a bit and they came out on top. So we're obviously going to have to go and do the same thing next game. I mean, backs against the wall, like I said. So we need to bring it all next game in order to uh, come out with one. All right. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, thanks. All right, we'll take questions for our Avalanche captain, Gabriel Landeskog. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Gabe, can you just take me through what you saw in that last play in overtime? And then how, as a team, do you guys rebound from a kind of gut-punching loss like this? Yeah, I mean, we don't have much time uh, to do anything but rebound and for forget about this one and, and move on. We got to go into Vegas and win a hockey game. That's as simple as that. Ryan Bolding, Mile High Sports. Hey, Gabe, can you just talk about, you know, what you guys were, were doing right this game and, and if you can carry that over, build on those those small positives, those small victories in the next one? Yeah, we were forechecking hard. We were skating, uh, coming up with pucks in neutral zone and kind of turning it quick on them and, and didn't really let them get set up in our zone. Uh, we were quick to contact and, and quick to stop their, their uh, cycling game and we were able to turn it, go the other way. So lots of positive take out from tonight. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. 
Yeah, Gabe, uh, Conquer almost uh, wins it there 10 seconds in off of a shot by you. Just thoughts on that play and how uh, how close this game was. I mean, those are the, the margins of, uh, you know, in these games in the playoffs and especially in overtime. See, Flair makes a big stop there and, and uh, you know, it happens bang, bang, and, and he's able to get a piece of it. So, um, you know, it didn't go our way tonight, but uh, we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll move on and get ready for game six. Eric D. Mile High Sports. Gabe, how do you take those things that you are doing right for the first couple of periods or pretty much most of this game and take that to Vegas in a hostile environment and do the same thing there? I mean, we don't have much of an option, do we? Uh, we can't really. I mean, that's the way we got to play. Listen, that's that's the way we got to play. That's a, that's how we're effective, and uh, we're just gonna have to replicate that. Obviously, it's a tough building, but this is the playoffs. And now we lost one at home. We got to go on the road and win one, uh, bring it home for Game Seven. All right, thank you, Gabe. Thank you. Take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. 
Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Jared, you guys are cruising into the third period there with the two nothing lead and you got the crowd going and and then Burakovsky has that turnover on the left wing. If you could just comment about that play and how that probably changed a lot of the momentum. Yeah, I mean, I think you got to work through mistakes. Like that's what it is. It's a it's a game of mistakes. And um, I'll say that I I love the way we played tonight. I loved it. I thought we were the aggressors. We were on our toes. We were we were playing to win the hockey game. We played to our identity. Um, the three goals that they got, even the third period, I had no problems with it. The only, except for the, the turnovers, we had, I didn't think we had a lot of turnovers tonight, but we had three and they all, that I know led to their goals against. They were all, all turnovers. We t turned the one over in Burkowski. We turned one over entering the offensive zone, a mis-executed play off the skate, went the other way for an odd man rush, and we had one in overtime. And, um, you know, we also did a lot of good things and created a lot of chances, and, and we, we have to clean up those those plays. I think that um, on the Burkowski one, he has an out up the boards. Even the cross ice play that he was trying to make, he has it if he just throws it over there in the air. I don't I don't think that had to have been a, a tape to tape pass in in order to hit those guys, and we don't get it out of the zone and. It, and they make you pay. That's what Vegas does. I said at the start of the series, they don't need a lot of chances to, to make you pay. And they didn't get a lot of chances tonight. And they made us pay on the pay on the ones that uh, that they needed to to win the hockey game. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Yeah, Jared, you you shuffled every single line tonight. What did you think of how how that went? I know you said you you liked the way they played for the most part. Yeah, I, I, I love their lines tonight. I thought they were great. Um, getting back to the way we have to play to have success, I thought it was, it was a really good hockey game by our team besides a couple plays that ended up in the back of our net. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Well, so you've kind of touched on it, Coach, but what's your message to the team uh, after a hard-fought game but a tough loss? Go do it again and eliminate a couple of those plays. That's I, I told them that that's exactly how you have to play in in, in order to win um, against Vegas, and, and you got to do it again. And we'll look again to see if we can find something else that can help our guys. But to me, I I, I liked their attack mentality. I thought we defended hard. We did a lot of good things, a lot of good things. And and we just got to be smarter with the puck in in a couple areas. And again, that's what that's what ended up costing us tonight. Ryan O'Halloran, Denver Post. Hey, Jared O'Connor played for the first time in a long time. What'd you make of his game? And then also New Hook back in the lineup. What'd you make of his game? I like both those guys. I thought O'Connor was was uh, hard, heavy, on pucks, using his, his grit and, and tenacity as well as his speed. He was good defensively. He was in on the four check, did exactly what we needed him to do. Real trusted guy defensively. And I thought Newhook was good too. You know, like they 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 did a job. They sc they scored a big goal for us, and um, they were making plays and, and playing in the right half of the rink for the most part. So I, I like both those guys coming into the lineup. Gave us good energy and good legs. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, when you say go do it again and eliminate a couple of those plays in Vegas, is it simply that easy or is there something more to playing that kind of a game on the road? Is it is it the last change or is it just the hostile environment? It, it can't be either, you know? It can't be either. It's got to be, hey, like I touched on the series already, right? My thoughts on it. Like we were cooking in game one. We started out great in game two and then it got hard. Vegas started playing their game. And... It's not, it's not regular season, and it's not, you know, for the, the Blues, for that matter. It's Vegas. And our game needed to get dialed up to a point where you could be play to win against Vegas, and we weren't there. We weren't there for the second part of game two or game three. Um, game four, we took a good step. There was a lot of stuff that I showed this morning that I liked, some adjustments we, we, we made. Um, the, the competitiveness and getting numbers to the pocket, it was good. 
tonight we did take another step. It was a huge step, and and um, we played real well. We had a lot of chances to spread that game out more than what it was, and we didn't capitalize on him. And Fleury made some big saves, and and, and he's part of their team. You got to beat him too, and we didn't do it tonight. And um, we coughed up a couple. I don't want to say easy ones because they have something to do with those turnovers too, but. We, we can manage those situations better. So to me, you got to go try and repeat that f performance and, and, and better it in certain areas of, uh, th than we did. And it, it, you have to be able to do it on the road. You have to be able to do it at home. And right now, we have no choice but to go get it done. I think two more here for Jared. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. So, Jared, this has got to be more mental than anything. This isn't an inexperienced team you have, right? You guys have been through this. Man, you won playoff rounds recently. You know, you play tough hockey games. This isn't your first trip to this dance. And you let a game go tonight with some mental mistakes. Is this uh, is this something that, that's more between the years than anywhere else? Well, we could have been safer in, on, in, on a couple of those plays that ended up back in our net. Yeah, I, did, I think that we showed tonight that we can play um, with Vegas and, and, and create the chances we need and, and still defend properly. And we made some mistakes. Again, it is a game of mistakes. And we made way less mistakes in this game than we had in any other game in the series and gave ourselves a real good chance to win. We, we I mean, we score on an opportunity here, get her saved there, and, and, and it, you know, clear a puck out instead of trying to go across ice. And, and it's a different story. But we made those mistakes. So now that we're in the situation we're in, and now we've got to dig in and, and, and try to better that performance and go get the job done. Last one, Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Uh, you got it dialed up, and you got the game you wanted. Um, how do how do you going on the road balance the aggression you want with smart play um, that you didn't quite have in the third period? Well, I mean that makes it sound like we didn't have the smart like the that the third period was no good. I mean, it was two plays. It lasted about 10 seconds, and then there was another one in overtime, right? So a total of 10 seconds. I didn't have a problem with the way we played the third period. I had a problem with the way we managed those two situations, right? And um, so I guess to answer your question is same thing I already said. I don't care if it's home or road, and I don't know that our guys do either. I mean, we've played real well here. We played well on the road this year, too. We've won games in Vegas, and there's no reason if we play the right way and, and, and clean up a couple of those decisions that we can't go get the job done in Vegas. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you.